Who the other is going to be the last? Um, I believe this is the Prince Alley Rescue complete and 140 quest points, only 35 more until I can actually do the um, get the Barrows Gloves Rescue for Disaster. I want to do Desert Treasure as well as Horror from the Deep as soon as I can. Um, because I guess all the quests you need for those will get me enough quest points to get me 175, and that will be nice. So I unlock Ancients as well as the uh, the Zamorak book and all the other books, which will be awesome. And tourist trap quest complete. Two quest points and some other useless stuff. I'm just doing a little bit of rune crafting now. I'm trying to get that 30 rune crafting so I can complete. The slug, money, uh, the slug Menace quest, so I can get my hands on the Prozolite, because Prozolite being the um, the cheapest and probably the best option um, with regard to prayer boosting armor in this game. Obviously, you could use Verax, um, but with the de with the degradation as well as the cost of Verax, it would be probably worthwhile using um, Prozolite just for slight tasks and things like that. Um, so that's the plan right now, just to get Slug Menace out of the way, so I can get those uh, creep, I guess creep a little bit closer to 175 quest points, which then grants me the, um, I guess, what is it, grants me the ability to fight those final bosses in Recipe for Disaster. I'm also working on 50 fire making as well, just to get that 50, or I guess, yeah, working on 50 fire making, so I can complete Desert Treasure, um, and then also got to do uh, Horror from the Deep as well. Just I'm just basically doing all the useful quests, there's 21 room crafting, I'm basically just doing all of the useful quests. Um, before I hit 175 and then just finish off the quest points um, with random quests that probably won't do me much benefit in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue runecrafting, I guess. So, but there is 30 runecrafting. I can now do the Slug Menace quest. I think I can do the Slug Menace quest. There we have it, 50 fire making. Um, I'm not quite sure what else I need to do for Desert Treasure. I'm going to have a little look. So the Temple of Ikov, uh, the Troll Stronghold quest, complete, and then I can do Desert Treasure. That is very exciting. Mm -hmm. So here we are about to complete the uh, the Wanted quest. Now this is a prerequisite for the quest, uh, the Slug Menace, which then allows me to use my Prozolite, which is another little stepping stone, I guess, uh, one step closer to those Barrows Gloves, which is the ultimate goal. So I thought I'd just stop for a second and just thank you, uh, just say thank you to this guy called Selfish. I was just gearing up for another quest, and the quest is going to be Slug Menace. Um, and he just, got, he just gave me a little message saying, nice recent vid. Um, you know, whenever I get sent messages like that, I really do appreciate it. Um, and, I, you know, it does make me happy that you guys, I guess, are enjoying the content that I'm producing. Um, but yeah, so a massive thank you to Selfish for that, um, for that, I guess, for that lovely little message. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, thank you very much, my friend. So I'm pretty sure this is the last step that I need to do uh, for the Slug Menace, well, for the completion of the Slug Menace. It's a really, really easy quest. Um, you know, very, very, I guess, simple to the point. Nothing too difficult about the quest, and the rewards are quite good as well. Um, the Rune Crafting level to do this, I think it was 30, um, but that was very, very, very easy to achieve. All I did was, uh, from 1 to 14, I did Air Runes just here at Falador. There we go, there's completion of the quest. And uh, from 14 to 30, I did uh, Fire Runes, which were very, very, very fast experience. And I'm only 300 experience off of 33, which is uh, which is awesome. And I'm probably going to buy my myself the, uh, the Prozolite now, so then I can get rid of my Initiate. There we are. So I'm going to buy two sets of the Prozolite. How much are these? So they're, Oh, they're only 12k each. Uh, two sets of the top and two sets of the legs. And that's going to be very, very nice for slaying with, uh, with tasks that I need to protect from... Um, I guess protect from whatever. Alrighty, so there's another quest knocked out of the way. That is the, I think it's Edgar's Ruse. There we go. 11k Herbler XP, uh, 47 to 49 Herbler, which is always nice. And one more quest point. So 25 more quest points until I can do Recipe for Disaster. And here comes the initiation, I guess you could say, of probably the funnest quest in the game. There we go, fellas. Desert Treasure. I guess the road has begun. So I figured after um, fighting Dessus for the uh, the Blood Diamond, I figured firstly I have to get my hands on some Mystic Robes. So a massive, massive thank you to Borders who um, I gave him 215k and he went and bought me some Mystic Robes from the uh, the Mage, the Magic Training Place. Um, and now I've started just to pick up the, I believe, yeah, I'm going to grab the, the Sarah Diamond one. one. Um, I'm going to pick up the God Cape just to give me a little bit of... Uh, that little extra magic boost, so when I fight the bosses, they will go down a little easier, and it's, you know, it doesn't really take long to get my hands 
on the magic gear. So if I have a little look now, I'm going to have a look how much magic attack I have. Um, a 75 magic attack and 68 magic defense. I'm not going to bother with the god cape. I don't know th the god book just yet, I don't think, because I don't think it gives many bonuses unless you put the, um, the pages in it. So... The gear setup I have now should be enough to complete Desert Treasure. Uh, but like I said, I've got the Blood Diamond complete. Now it's got to get the other three diamonds. Given the handful of times that I've actually done this quest, not once have I made it through the entire uh, pyramid without falling down. And I just managed to do the entire pyramid without falling down once. Um, now I did use my stamina potions, uh, some grace. Well, this, this is basically the gear that I used. I've really only eaten one shark through the entire thing because I didn't use protect from, um, I did not use protect from melee, as you can see, 44 prayer. Uh, but there we go. Desert treasure quest has been complete. Very, very, uh, it was a pretty easy quest. It was just a lot of fun. I really do, en do enjoy doing this desert treasure quest. Um, and I guess I can use ancients now, but, um, given my magic levels only 62, I can't use any of the spells. So it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but at the same time, it was a rec it was a prerequisite for the recipe for disaster quest. Um, so now I'm going to move on to horror from the deep, I think. And there is the Horror from the Deep quest complete. Two quest points, uh, 4662 in range, magic, and strength. Time to get those um, those god books from upstairs, I guess. And there we go. I've chosen the Zamrock book just for its attack benefits. And there we go. Uh, Horror from the Deep quest complete. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do next. So the next clip will probably be a surprise. So it turns out that I do need uh, 65 defense for the King's Ransom quest. And I'm pretty sure that's for, I believe it's Piety and um, Chivalry. Now, I'm going to do a couple more quests as well. Obviously, I've got 155 quest points now, and I'm very, very lucky to have um, Desert Treasure and Horror from the Deep, if I can find that as well. Yeah, there it is, Horror from the Deep. I'm so very, very happy to have those two quests out of the way. Um, they are probably two of my favorite quests in this game, just because of the difficulty, as well as, I guess, it's something a little bit different, and most people know how to complete those quests uh, quite easily. Um... And it's just fun to do. So, uh, I've written down a couple of quests that I've planned to do as well. Um, so, I'm going to do one small favor, uh, which is a prerequisite for, I think it's Throne of Miscellanea or something like that. Um, then, I'm going to do, then I'm going to do King's Ransom, which is for the 65 defense uh, for that one quest point. And I'm also going to be doing uh, Witch Tower, which is four quest points. Oh, no, not did I say Witch Tower? I meant Watch Tower, and that's going to give me four quest points, which is pretty crazy. And that will allow me access to the Watch Tower teleport in Ardone as well as the Swan Song, which is, uh, I need 66 Mage, um, and that will unlock the Monkfish, and it'll also have In Search of the Mirek, which is two, um, which is two quest points as well, so. And there's the, uh, 63 defense, I was a little bit scrubbish, and I missed the 62 defense, but there we go, 63, only two levels to go, till we can do the King's Ransom. So I figured, I've done a few, um, Blue Dragon tasks, and I've just picked up all the bones that I've received, uh, from the task, and what I've done is now, instead of just selling them for money, I think all I'm going to do is just use them on Gilded Altars, so I'm in Lucy's house, apparently, is the uh, the owner of this house, which is always nice, it's always, it's always lovely to see people hosting house, uh, house parties, I guess you could say, just to help some other people out, but um, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of prayer now, um, see where 160 bones will get me, it will definitely will not get me to... Um, to 52 prayer. I'm going to move my camera around here. Um, it definitely won't get me to 52 prayer, but it will get me probably to like say maybe 47 or 48. I'm going to stay with uh, 48. I'm going to say.